The vessels in Hollow Knight. We all know the grim origin they have, which I've already discussed in more detail in another video. However, in this one, we'll talk about the lives and history of some of them, mainly Zot. But the question here is the following. Is Zot a vessel? Let's discuss it. Zot, the Mighty, is a character who, like the Knight, ventures into the kingdom of Halonest with the goal of fulfilling a promise. An interesting line of dialogue from Zot is as follows, I'll kill a thousand more. Will that be enough, father? Which suggests that the promise is directed towards his father. However, later on, we learn that the promise was made to himself. And what the promise was about, you might ask. Well, I don't know. It could be to kill many enemies, explore the kingdom, or simply steal a helmet. Whatever the reason, Zote reminds me of someone. Someone familiar. Elderbug? No, he's too big and robust. Pale King? No, a little, but not quite. Nosk? Now, speaking seriously. To try to figure out the origin of Zote, it's logical to begin with his appearance, and surprise, it's very similar to the vessels of the Void, although not exactly the same, so his origin may be related to them. To start, we are certain that there are 15 vessels that came out of the Abyss, the Hollow Knight, the Knight, the one found in Green Path, Eleven in Nosk's room, and the Broken Vessel. We all know the story of the Hollow Knight, a being created for a purpose that, by its own nature, it was unable to fulfill. This is the only one of the vessels that managed to reach an adult version, with characteristics such as great stature, combat skills, mastery of soul and void, and its downfall, a mind capable of thinking. The knight shares the same origin as the Hollow Knight, they even meet at the door of the abyss. However, the knight couldn't pass the Pale King's test and fell into darkness until somehow escaping from the abyss. After that, it distances itself from Hallownest until something makes it return, and the events of the game unfold. As for the Green Path Vessel, we don't have much information about it. Probably, it also answered the call of Hallownest, like the knight, but perished in the attempt. Its nail is embedded in its body, giving rise to two possibilities, it took its own life, or someone killed it with its own weapon. Whatever the case, it still retains a very special item, the Mothwing Cloak. Deep Nest Vessels These poor vessels did not have much luck. They were deceived and murdered by Nosk, just like the creatures found there. They likely arrived in Deep Nest through this area, as you can see, the walls are the same as those in the ancient basin. Speaking of Nosk, there is a possibility that another vessel may have escaped from the abyss. And no, I'm not saying that Nosk is a vessel, but the head it has must have belonged to one, unless this creature has immense power to create decoys, which is also possible. Finally, we have the broken vessel. Contrary to what many may think, this vessel is not infected by the radiance, as the light seeds enter its corpse but do not sprout within it. Even after defeating it, we can observe that its body still moves, despite no longer having the infection inside, indicating that it was not infected. Moreover, if it were, it would be called infected vessel, not broken vessel. Now, let's talk about Zot. Zot's appearance is very similar to that of the vessels of the Pale King, however, he has characteristics that do not align with the creations of the worm. For example, a mouth that he uses for speaking. But let's remember this, no voice to cry suffering. Therefore, Zot should not be a vessel. However, as a counterpoint to this argument, we have the Hollow Knight itself, which was cursed by a mind to think, and remember, no mind to think. So, not even the ultimate vessel was perfect. Apart from his annoying voice, Zot also has thoughts and an unbreakable will. Due to this, we should pay attention to what he says to try to decipher his origin. But we can't really trust Zot's words to know his story. Zot is a fool who thinks he's someone important when he really isn't. However, he truly believes his own story. If we use the dream nail on him, we can enter his thoughts and know what he thinks. He genuinely believes he is Zot the Mighty, with his life-ender nail. 
So, if he tells us he comes from another place, we shouldn't believe him, because even though he thinks it's true, it may not be. Making this video, I just realized that Zote is literally the counterpart of the knight. Let's see, the knight never boasts about its achievements since it literally cannot speak. On the other hand, Zote keeps talking and talking about things he has never done. The knight is a being that can literally defeat gods, while Zote, well, let's not talk about that. Zote proclaims himself as a renowned knight, but nobody in the kingdom respects him. Quite the opposite of the knight, who even becomes a king. Returning to the video's topic. Let's consider for a moment that Zote is a vessel and ask the following question. How could such a useless being escape from the abyss? There's no way, no way at all that Zote could be a vessel because if he were born in the abyss, he would have died almost instantly due to his incompetence. I'm sure that vessel was much more skilled than him, and look how it ended. I believe this last argument puts an end to the mystery of this character's origin, but ultimately, his origin is not clear. Tomorrow Team Cherry could say that Zote was born in the abyss, and we would have to accept it. Thank <laughs> you. 